Hi, everybody. This is Brad Nessler. With me, as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. It's a picture-perfect day as we get set for today's contest between the Clemson Tigers and the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. Well, folks, we're excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. And here comes the Fighting Irish. Fans on both sides think their team is going to win this thing. What's your prediction, Kirk? Clemson is in for a dogfight, but we're looking at a linebacker who thrives on that. I don't think I've seen a more physical linebacker than this guy. I look for him to send a message early in this game. I think we'll be seeing an upset today. The Notre Dame Fighting Irish. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Short kickoff. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. Guys, all week the defense has been trying to figure out a way to stop this game-breaking receiver. What do you think about this matchup? Brad, simply put, you can't stop this guy. This defense is going to just have to use a variety of formations as well as double teams to try to slow him down. Otherwise, they're going to be in for a long day. Hey, if they think they can stop him, they're crazy. This kid is way too talented to be shut down. Watch him have a tremendous game. First down. The Irish set up in the gun. He drops back. Waits till the last moment. How about that defense? Well, that's why he's on the field, to make plays like that. That'll bring up second down. Second it's second down and 10 to go. Ball, the Ball on their own 39. Yeah. They line up in the shotgun. A little handoff. Allen with a takedown at the 45-yard line. Number five gets six yards on the play. Third down. They line up in the shotgun. Drop back to pass. He looks. Number seven comes it. And down he goes at the 41-yard line. That one worked pretty well. And it's a good job here by the wide receiver to get open. He created good separation from the defense. From the 41-yard line. First down. Number seven lines up in the shotgun. Looks to pass. Number seven passes. And Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. Second, Second and six. six. Ball on the 37. On the 37 yard line. Number seven, back in the gun. Option right. Number seven, lost the ball. And the offense picks it up. They get lucky and recover the loose ball. Running the option gets a little bit tricky sometimes. It's not as easy as it looks. Third. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. They're packed in tight on the line. Wants to throw outside. What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. Defense was coming with heat on that play. Yep, but the offensive line did a good job of picking up their assignments, and that gave the quarterback enough time to throw a nice pass to pick up the first down. We've got a first and ten. They're in the red zone. The Irish come out the shotgun. Little handoff. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Good effort by the linebacker to come up and make the play. Second it's second down. Ball on the 19-yard line. Notre Dame comes out of the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Looks. Throw short. That's incomplete. Thrown just a bit too far for the wide receiver. Third They've been two for level. two on third Ball downs on this drive, and they'll try to convert line. again here. Notre Dame sets up with four receivers. He unloads it. Got him on the run. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. The quarterback threw a pretty ball there. And they got him. Right. 
from the 31 yard line. It's third down. They'll work from the shotgun. Watson drops back to pass. He's looking for his man. Couldn't haul it in. And that'll make it fourth down. So it's fourth down. And the field goal unit's out to try this 48-yarder. Let's see, did one of the linemen move first? All sides. Only units. Still fourth down. It's fourth down. This will be a 43-yard field goal attempt. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. All sides. Only units. Still fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. It's up. And it's good. And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head chases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. Well, he better stop celebrating. There's still time on the clock, and he has to kick the ball off. Decent kick. Number five takes it from the six. Guys, what are you thinking at this point in the game? A field goal will tie it, and a touchdown will win it. Yep, but the clock is a big factor right now. I'm interested in seeing what they're going to try and do here, Coach. They'll get the ball here at the 23. Notre Dame comes out in the shotgun. Back to pass. Let's it go. Complete. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. Nice job by the quarterback to hit the tight end for a decent game. And this guy's not going to burn too many guys deep, but he's definitely a good possession guy who you can rely on. First and 10. Ball on their own 33. The Irish line up with four wideouts. They'll throw on first down. Incomplete. Kirk. What was that? He just dropped it, coach. Plain and simple. That was an abominable drop. Abominable? Yeah, I'm not sure what it means, but it just sounds bad. <laughs> they line up at the 33. It's second down. Four wide receivers in the formation. Drops back to pass. He zips it, finds his receiver. That's a first down right there. Yeah, if I was a defense, I think I would man up on these guys next time. And this quarterback is very good at recognizing zone coverage and then finding the open receiver. First down. Notre Dame lines up in a shotgun set. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped them yet. And he stopped behind the line. Notre Dame will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. It's second down. Hey, football fans, Brad Nessler here with my partners in crime, Lee Corso and Kirk Kerbstreet. There's a chill in the air tonight, but it probably won't adversely affect either squad. Get ready for the Iowa Hawkeyes and the Buffaloes of Colorado. And we're set to bring you another great matchup in the world of NCAA football. And here come the Buffaloes. The Buffaloes have nothing to lose in this game. Kirk, how do you see this thing playing out? Iowa can do so many things on defense thanks to this young man. He can be the eighth man in the box, or he can play man coverage. And I expect everyone to know his name after this game is over. Hey, everybody's picking him, so I will too. I'm picking the Iowa Hawks. Iowa has the ball teed up, and we're ready for kickoff. He kicks it off. 
Branch fields it at the seventh. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. This drive will start at the 26. White alone in the backfield. Stewart will hand it off. Not much for the runner as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. It's second and ten. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. From their own 27-yard line. It's third down. Drop back a pass. He's going right. Batted ball. And it falls incomplete. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Mohammed is back deep to return. Punts the ball away. Mohammed fields it to 31. Now the offense will come out and see if they can't get an early lead on their first drive. This offense rallies around their quarterback, and we expect to see much of the same today, fellas. Absolutely, Brad. This kid is a great arm, is poised in a pocket, and more importantly, is a great leader of this team. I think he's going to have a tremendous game today. Yeah, this kid's the heart and soul of this team. I also think he's going to make some good things happen today. From their own 34-yard line, second down. Gives it up the gut. He tackles him for a loss. The defense just blew that one up in the backfield. Just nowhere to run on that play, Coach. The halfback had nowhere to go from the get-go. Third and 11 coming up here. Ball on their own 33. The Hawks are lining up with three receivers. Number 12 lets it fly. The ball is tipped. Turner was the intended receiver on it's second down and about three yards. Ball on the 27-yard line. Number 20 lines up in the deep back. High formation. Stewart back to pass. Find his receiver. Phillips tackles him at the 44-yard line. Nice little pitch and catch with a wide out. Quarterback and receiver spend a lot of time together. The coaches say they stay after practice just working on their timing right there it paid off. First and 10. He got back to the line of scrimmage, but not much more. From their own 44-yard line, second down, 10 yards to go. Stewart lines up in the shotgun. Again with the run. Harris with a takedown at the 46-yard line. Congratulations to our players of the game. Both of these young men should hold their heads up high today. Stewart drops the throw. Looking, waits till the last moment. He's tackled at the 47. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. Holding on the offense. The penalty is declined, fourth down. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Number 20 is the single setback. He'll get it again. Brought down at the 47-yard line. Well, they'll turn the ball over on downs. Yeah, football is a game of field position, and they just lost the battle right there. 
They'll get the ball here at the 47. The Hawks come out of the ace formation on play action. He zips it. It's deflected. This one will fall incomplete. That's just good defense right there, Coach. It was, Kirk. But you know what? It's all reaction. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm's length away, you knock it down. That'll make it second down. The Hawkeyes line up with a single setback to Under heavy pressure. And he can't get away from the pressure. They line up at the 39. Passing situation here on third and long. Drops back to pass. Looking, number 12, rifles it. It's complete. Tackle made at the 48-yard line. Iowa will take a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. The Hawks line up in an I formation. He's looking to pass. Throws it. He snags it. Missed tackle. And they make the stop at the 41. Iowa will have one timeout remaining. It's first and ten. Number 12 is back in the gun. He drops back. This one is batted away. Mohammed was the intended receiver on that pass. So that'll make it second down. Second, second and 10. Ball on the 41. On the line. Yeah. One last play, folks. It's time to find out how far he can throw it and see if this game becomes one of the all-time greatest. Here we go. They got to the quarterback a little late there. First and 11. The officials march off 15 yards against the defense. And when the quarterback releases the football, you can't do that kind of stuff. It's bad for your team, and it makes you look like a fool. In the red zone again. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. The kick is up. And... So they take the late lead with that clutch field goal. Wow. Wow is an understatement. That was a big kick. This has been a great game from start. Folks, thanks for tuning in to our game. Our final score, Iowa 9, Colorado 7. Nestler here, and with me as always, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. The fans have dressed in layers, and we'll see some cold temps for the Iowa Hawkeyes and the Clemson Tigers. Well, folks, we're excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. And here come the Tigers. The Tigers look ready to come in here and get the upset. Kirk, how do you think this one will play out? Iowa has your prototypical safety, and he'll show the nation why in this one. You'll see him covering receivers downfield, making plays behind the line of scrimmage. The guy's everywhere, and he's the reason I'm picking them to win this game. I guess I should let you in on my pick, then. Clemson will be tough in this. one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. He kicks it off. Hopkins passes it to five. 
So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. Well, guys, I think the player to watch today is in the defensive backfield. You're right about that, Brad. This safety has the speed of a cornerback and the hitting ability of the linebacker. And that's what makes him a dynamic player. I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if we saw a couple of picks by this guy today. I'm predicting at least one, Coach. Second it's second down and 10 to go. Clemson lines up for the shotgun set. He's looking to pass. Johnson picks it off. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. It's the safety who's in the right place at the right time. The quarterback has to know where the safety is when he makes this kind of throw. Right here, he just tried to force something that wasn't there. They'll we'll see if they can capitalize the on the good field position. Quarter, the lone back. Here's the halfback. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Good effort by the linebacker to come up and make the play. From the 28-yard line, second down, about 12 yards to go. Three wideouts here, drop back to pass, lets it go, and it's incomplete. Not much you can do there, Coach. Nope, not much at all. It's not easy hanging on to the football when there's another guy coming at you. Those are going to be drops more times than not. They line up at the 28. Third down. The Hawkeyes are lining up with three receivers. Number 12 lets it fly. He let his halfback too far on that throw. This kid needs to relax and get the ball down where his receivers can catch it. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. This kick will be about a 45 or 46 yarder. Iowa could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up. And it sails through the uprights. Pretty good kick right there, and it wasn't an easy one. It's third and 10. Ball on the 44. The Hawks go with the I formation. Drops back to pass. He zips it to the middle. It's his tight end. So they find their tight end for the big catch and an important first down. 